And for our last story tonight, a recent study found that one in five Americans want their child oh, to be born under God. a certain astrological sign. They, so, oh, God. Which, honestly, is such a Capricorn thing to do. Oh, <laughs> God, please. Spare me. This is <laughs> ghastly. <laughs> Louis, are you, are you okay? What's what's happening? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just finding this whole thing so banal. <laughs> you know that while I was in France this summer, something dawned on me. Okay. <laughs> All you've done is go on about going to France on holiday. Look, we're in the middle of something important here. Can we just carry important? on? Important? I've never heard anything so trite. I mean, what's the point of all this anyway? Well, the point. <laughs> The point of all this is that it's 12.30 and we're trying to do a show. Ah, 12.30? Do you know what we're doing in France at 12.30? We're in the Moulin Rouge. We're strolling down the left bank. We're reading poetry to our lovers. OK, well... <laughs> we can't do any of those things here, OK? Oh, God. You're so terribly bourgeois. <laughs> Right, I'm sorry, Louis, Louis, you, you cannot smoke in here, OK? <laughs> Fine, I'll extinguish this cigarette just like you've extinguished the Promethean flame of our creativity. <laughs> what does that mean? This show's very creative. Is it? Is it really? I think so, yeah, we do a lot of creative things. Like what, exactly? It all feels so dreadfully pedestrian. You know, James, while I was in France this summer... <laughs> Looking at real art in the Louvre, I thought to myself, this show could be so much more vital, so much more alive. <laughs> As the poet Arthur Rimbaud once said, connez-vous le chemin de la guerre? <laughs> right, well, well I, I don't know what that means. Of okay? course you don't, of course you don't. Look around you, you're drowning in a bouillon bays of mediocrity. <laughs> Right, this is, can I, this is getting quite rude. Oh, James, get used to it. I'm just telling you the truth, la vérité. What? OK, then, all right, Emmanuel Macron, what do you, what do you suggest we mm. do? Free your mind. <laughs> Let your inhibitions go. Have a glass of wine, for God's sake. You know, in France, even the babies drink wine. <laughs> they serve it in kindergarten. Right, I'm, I'm pretty sure that isn't true. So let's just return to the news, OK? There was a news story today that said one oh, in five... James, let go! <laughs> you know, while I was in France this summer, <laughs> I learned to free myself from the prison of structural formality. Where, where did you get an easel? Oh, what does it matter? Look at this painting. It's you, it's not you, it's sex, it's death, it's truth, it's lies, it's Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost's surprise baby news. <laughs> what? It's, it's Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost's surprise baby news. What? <laughs> what are you talking... Louis, this whole thing just because you want to talk about Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost's surprise baby news? Maybe. <laughs> yes? They had a baby, James. <laughs> a baby! I bought this magazine at a newsstand outside Le Champs Elysees and it hit me like a freight train! <laughs> I wanted to bring it up so bad, I just didn't know how! Why didn't you just say what's with all the French stuff? I don't know! <laughs> I think I'm having a nervous breakdown, James! <laughs> It's weird being at work right now, James! It's weird! OK, well, <laughs> What's any of this got to do with Scarlett Johansson and Colin Joe's baby news? I'm just so happy for them! Well, we all are. We're all oh, happy God. for them. I wish I was back in France. Who wants some wine? Oh, James! James, remove your clothes and come and lie with me. <laughs> Sur la plage! And we can talk about Manet and Monet and... Jean-Michel Jarre. We'll be right back Come with more on, of the James, Late Late Show, everybody. Hello, <laughs> <laughs>